many years later trying to figure out how to pick up your pieces and move on. Fine. So that means in that kind of a scenario, there were very less chances for anybody to, you know, uh, pick up a particular, you know, style of personality, you know, a strong a personality. But then how did this kind of, you know, transformation came within you that today you are more known more as a joy guru? I'm very much sure there must be, you know, some defining moments in your life, you know, which ultimately <laughs> led you into what you are today. You know, it's very hard to pinpoint. Um, I will say that the one thing that I had working in my favor. Um, from a very young age, my, my parents were very spiritual. So, of course, you know, especially as an American, that's our tradition. You go to the house of worship and you learn things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I did was when I was four years old, I taught myself to read. So I was an avid reader. You know, the library was, for me, my only safe place. Um, so I read stories and read all type of books, different genres. And one of the things that really, there, there were moments where I just knew I couldn't take the suffering anymore and I wanted to end my life. And I would read something. I would read somebody's testimony of abuse. I would read somebody's book, um, some star or celebrity, something happened to them. And that would give me enough strength to say, you know, I don't know about tomorrow, but I think I'm going to hang on one more night. Um, just to, to, you know, my story isn't quite as bad as theirs, so I'm going to hang in there just one more night. And that's why now I'm really passionate about writing books and sharing my story and sharing the things I've learned um, in this span of living 